वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन पार्टीशन द जेबिक्स डेटाबेस आइदर इट्स माय एसक्यूएल और मारिया डीबी टू इंप्रूव द जेबिक्स परफॉर्मेंस एंड स्पेस यूटिलाइजेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक first step we have we have to download the sql script for the partitioning the next step you have to extract this script now you can the default script setting is configured to 7 day for the history table and 365 for trend data if you want to change any of these configuration you simply have to do is type nano you can use any of your favorite editor every time i use nano pro scroll down till the end for my scenario i am going to keep the history data for 60 days minimum of 2 months and the trend data as it is 365 day scroll x enter y press enter now the next step is create partitioning procedure with sql script you just have to run this command this is the Zavix database name and this is the password for the user and this is my user Zavix and this is the partitioning script. The partitioning. has been run script will create my sql partitioning procedures very quickly on the new zabbix installation yeah this is my fresh zabbix installation that's why it didn't take too much time if you have the larger databases it will takes hours the next step is we want to run this partitioning procedure automatically what we have to do we created partitioning procedure but they don't do anything until we run them so we will do it for the automatic this step is the most important because the partition must deleted and created regularly every day using partitioning procedure uh, let me explain little about this scenario i have set the history table data for 60 days after 60 days the 61th day data will be automatically deleted in the previous old scenario while zabbix run housekeeping it will start using cpu utilization more than 75% it will Uh, lower the zabbix performance and and the data take too much spaces most of the space utilized by these five history tables that i have set only keep two months data the trends and trend unit 
tables didn't utilize too much space so what we are going to do don't worry you don't have to do that manually we can use two tools for such tasks my sql event scheduler or front end i will used event scheduler not the cron tab be, be careful when configuring my sql event scheduler or cron tab zabbix will stop collecting that data if you misconfigure them you will notice that the, by the empty graph and the errors query failed table has no partition for the value in the zabbix log file manage partitions automatically using my sql event scheduler as i told you i am going to use this and this is the best and recommended from my side as well by default the my sql event scheduler is disabled you need to enable it by the setting event scheduler on in my sql configuration file just after the my sql deadline don't know where the file is located if you don't know where the my sql data file if you used my tutorial for installing optimizing this we can find the location of our configuration file by running this command here i will use editor nano it is a direct etc and my Below the my SQL tag, I am going to paste the command and I am going to paste this configuration file and on here. Once you have made these changes, this part here. Going to do the same again for this one. We can check the status of database as well. Status of active and running now the mysql event scheduler should be enabled let's check that with the command you can also check by this command as well event scheduler is on now now the next step what we are going to do now we can create an event that will run procedure partition maintenance all every 12 hours what this command will do this command will create an automatic partitioning partitioning schedule that that script will run after every 12 hours you can set this to 1 hour 2 hour 4 hour 6 hour 8 hours as you like i am going to do this with 12 hours it will run this script every 12 hours two times in a day now after 12 hours check to see if the event has been executed successfully using the command below you can check the status that the SQL script has created the tables or not and you can see the status over there on what date what time you have created this and the last time anything changed in that script and last executed time for that script and now my script will run at 5 a.m in the morning automatically after the 12 hours
if you if you are going to start with the fresh installation you don't dare have to run this command if you run this command all the tables will get empty and the fresh procedure will be started now you every time you can check both status by one of this command that when the last time script has been executed and by this command you can check the tables has been created or not right now three tables has been created when the next time the script will run more tables will be created every time you can check the status by this command. I am I am going to explain these command what is these command this is the username this is the password for the, the, the database and this is the database name now what we the last step you have to done to configure housekeeping on the Zabbix front end let's move to the GUI go to the administration general sorry here is the housekeeping because you have override these both scenarios you have to uncheck the internal housekeeping process because the next time housekeeping will not the tables or delete the previous data of the tables as I have told you we have set the history period table uh, history tables period 60 days and the trend tables period 365 days and you have to uncheck the enable internal housekeeping and check the override item that we have done previously in the script and you have to update this the scenario has implemented and updated successfully I have performed this activity on the Zabbix 6.4.8 what is this scenario this scenario enables the Zabbix server to enhance and increase its performance and it will minimize the space utilization by the history tables that mostly used by these tables please stay tuned hope you like this video kindly like and subscribe my channel as well and please share these videos to the others thank you for watching stay blessed goodbye